Hey everybody, so in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of the ways that typology systems might be misused and uh, yeah, because I feel like not enough people actually talk about this and I want to try to shed some light on it uh, so let me start off by saying if you want to know what typology is typology basically is any sort of system of categorization of people by their personality traits things like the MBTI uh, I use Socionics personally, or Enneagram as well. They all count as a typology system. So, although typology is uh, essentially putting people into quote-unquote boxes, that's at least what people say. It's, it's not really like that. It's not about putting you in a box. It's more about showing you which box you're already in. So, with that being said, one of the most common ways that it gets misused is by having a sort of ceiling or limiting your self-growth. Now, this, this one is a little bit careful. This isn't one of the most blatant use, mis, uh, examples of misuse. But you got to be careful because it is true that some types have, more, have strengths and others have uh, strength weaknesses that other types do not have. Uh, and you don't want to be trying to use typology to change your personality type entirely. If you are an LSI, ISCP, your, your greatest strengths are always going to be in the thinking and sensing realm and you don't want to change that by all of a sudden becoming an NF type. Uh, you can integrate NF-like behavior, but regardless, no matter the um, approach, no matter what, it shouldn't ever limit you. And what I mean by limit as in, when people try to use psychology to tell you you can only be, or should I say have certain career paths here, certain hobbies and interests there, like if you are an extroverted sensing lead, it's okay for you not to be somebody who is into sports and instead want to read a bunch of books and get into theoretical knowledge that's completely fine right don't like allow typology to tell you well because you're an extroverted sensing you need to be some sort of impulsive uh, loud mouth type of person and that's all you're ever going to be that's not how it should be used uh, not even close so it should be used instead to un increase your own awareness understand the box that you're already in and then sort of develop yourself in a way we can grow out of that box. Now, the second way that I see typology systems being misused quite a lot, um, one thing is called hate typing. Now, what I mean by hate typing is labeling specific certain personality types, uh, calling them sort of like the black sheep of all the types, and basically like blaming them for all the bad things to ever happen in this world. So it's like, okay, you are an ENFJ, you are an INTP, you are an ENFP, you are an INFP, whichever type, who cares? It's not about the type, it's, a, it's about the pattern of behavior here, and the pattern is this. Having specific individual types, or a group of types, and saying that they are the devil of the world, like they're the evil. This is, this is sort of more in line with that cultish way of thinking, when you go around hearing people say, well, the world is a much worse place because of this group of people or this group of people they tend to commit these sort of crimes or this group of people when they get together this is the negative impact they have on others this way of thinking is it's really um, it's not helpful to anyone and it's also not necessarily remotely true because personality typing isn't about it doesn't predict uh, evil let's just say right you can't predict and say, well, certain types are going to be evil or certain people are going to be evil or bad people because this is the type that they are. This is the type of a group that they belong to, like saying, oh, all the NFs, they're all a bunch of crazed hippies and they're no good for society. Like, like that way of thinking. That is a, is a really, really uh, incorrect and flawed way of using typology. It's not really objective. Typology was never meant for that. It doesn't even attempt to predict or measure good or bad or like evil not evil or try to predict who will become an evil person or a good person because there are good and bad people of every single personality type right um hitler was an enfj that doesn't necessarily mean that every single enfj is, is going to be like the next hitler martin luther king was also an enfj so you see like they're good and bad both sides of the same coin for every single individual personality type when you hear people going around saying this these groups of people are bad we need to take them down there this is they cause all the bad things in this world that's just yeah that's uh, a flawed way of using typology um 
Also, another way of misusing topology, I'd say, is doing the exact opposite. Having a special group of people that you admire or put on a pedestal a little bit too much. Right? Um, so I, I see them both as the exact same problem, the same mistake. It's just both sides of the same coin. So with that being said, I want to keep this video short. And yeah, you let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. See ya.